Hello everybody and welcome to your Angel Blessings reading. This reading is to let you know within the next 30 days or so there are some beautiful blessings and gifts that are going to unfold in your life on your journey because you have completed some soul lessons, some life lessons. So there's going to be a beautiful shift and uh, life is going to start feeling better for you. And because you have completed certain um, milestones on your journey, your angels are able to bestow more blessing and energy in a positive manner in your life. It is time for some rewards. So there are three different treasure chests to choose from to talk about the gifts that are coming to you and the blessings that are coming to you. I will start with the first treasure chest and there are timestamps for the other two below. Hello, so this is for treasure chest number one. And before we open that up, we're gonna pull a card to see which angel is coming in for you, which angel is coming in the strongest to offer you this beautiful, whoa, you've got several, but that's too many. I just want you, this jumped out so that you know there is a lot of energy, is a lot of blessings that come with this first chest. The essence of love, the miracle of love, maturity, harmony, and Archangel Uriel, okay? So those are energies that are coming in because this is a general reading, but wow, 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 wow. You guys have been on a journey working on a lot of different stuff, okay? So let's see which angel is coming through at the strongest. The angel of peace. I open my heart and rest in the peace of divine love. Yes. So all those energies that were jumping out when I first started shuffling, that's because there is so many different things that are going to unfold and change in your life. And ultimately, it brings you into a place of peace. So the angel of peace coming in to restore harmony, balance, and love within you as well as in your external life. So let's see what you've been working on the most, okay? What you're completing here. Oh, okay, so we've got some Aries energy and this says, and you could have been working on all of these things or one of these things, okay? And you've been learning independence, independence within life, within self, emotionally, in the physical material world, different for all of you, but you all have been working on some soul lesson, bringing you more into a place of independence. And it says, the challenge to be independent to indulge in self-awareness, trust your intuition and impulses, stand and be courageous, support your own needs, give to others in moderation, nurture self. So independence and self-sufficiency. Uh, many of you are probably very giving people that were attracted to this particular box here. And you've been going through a lot of lessons that have been trying to encourage you to realize your value and your worth alongside others and for you to realize you deserve what you give to others you deserve to get that back okay but also some of you could have had um, a bit of codependency about you where you want to nurture and heal the broken you always want to help you always want to fix and if you're not in that that role of you know helping and loving and healing you feel empty within yourself and part of that gift that you have is for yourself when you are sad and low you need to be there for yourself the same way you would be there for others okay and you need to realize your worth and your value and sometimes it's not your problem it really isn't okay people sometimes have to fall down and learn their lessons the hard way and you know for me personally that's been a lesson in my life those who I really loved trying to protect them from danger or making mistakes or belling them out every time they screw up and some of you are notorious for that and you've been learning that you can't always help out even though you feel it in your heart that's your gift you are a lover you are a healer and you need 
you have needed to learn how to moderate that um, you know all things in moderation and also learning how to give to self as much as you give to others and when you need to push others away and say you've got to figure it out you've got to do it on your own and not letting people emotionally manipulate you and try to convince you that you owe them or you have to do XYZ so you've been working with a lot of lessons probably in relationships with people all like friends family romance as well as establishing a relationship with yourself and learning yourself on a deeper level and now you are coming to the end of that and peace is going to be restored in your life as the energy shifts and blessings roll in all right so Let's get into your little treasure chest, and I just want you to see um, there's a tarot dais, um, a divination dais, a gemstone, and then some charms. So we're going to talk about each of these. The um, tarot dais has you know different cards um, not all of them obviously because this is just one so we're gonna get your um, tarot information from this dice we're gonna roll it and this will be your tarot cards we're also going to look at what astrological influence you've been working with and you're completing and the blessing that comes in with that okay and then pyrite the this is very positive this is about protection and abundance so there's a lot of things that are going to physically manifest for you you know and this could be around job money finance or life just getting much more comfortable for you and you finally feeling protected and strong and independent within yourself okay and I love that because, you know, I when I put these together, I just threw the dice in, threw the charms in, and I was more selective about the gemstones, obviously. And so I love that this is what showed up, you know, that this independence, because that's what this is about. And you have achieved that. You are going up some level in your life, in your independence. And this is just a beautiful confirmation of that, okay? So let's look at the charms that I grabbed okay so the tree of life which is also another beautiful depiction of this evolution of these soul and life lessons that you are now completing and you're growing and you're becoming wiser all right so that also pairs perfectly with this independence and we have the owl here it is you've become wiser you've become more self-aware you see where maybe you have been too um, codependent or you've allowed certain people to rely on you too much or you've been there like um, you're seeing where your energy is splintered and where you are giving way more than you're receiving and through your experience you're gaining this wisdom where you're realizing it's not selfish to say no and when there's a blessing for you that doesn't mean that you always have to share it or give it away all right um, what comes to you as a blessing from you know the universe is yours you have earned that you have manifested that and there's a great deal of experience that is now transforming into wisdom for you okay that's one of the blessings here and in this space what used to hold you up or you know manipulate you no more you're too wise for it you've grown okay and now we have the Eiffel Tower. So for some of you, um, and I didn't say that, the uh, the owl, the life, the tree of life, the Eiffel Tower, any of these charms that come out can be special symbols and synchronicities for you already on their own, okay? But with the Eiffel Tower, this is travel. There is a journey, and this could be you're literally gonna go on a vacation, or this opportunity is gonna arise for you within the next month, and that doesn't mean you have to travel within the next month but something within the next month about a journey a beautiful vacation um, that will be in the works and others of you this is a symbol of the journey that you've been on and if it was in the physical you would have been all around the world okay with what you've been going through emotionally mentally and spiritually through these lessons so you've completed a major soul cycle all right with this Eiffel tower 
and now we have the wave so this means that your life is now going to start moving at a much quicker pace because when you're nearing the end of a cycle it's like things slow down and it feels really heavy and it feels hard because you're almost at the very end and then once you cross that finish line you are renewed you are cleansed and then there's this momentum that just picks up in your life so there's a big flow of different energy that is coming in through the wave and lastly we have the key okay you now are gonna have a key to open a door that you didn't otherwise have um, this could be a major breakthrough in your consciousness about something some of you this is a representation of a key for a new car a new home um, you could outright be buying or you could be getting a new apartment okay some of you this is you have finally um, achieved some sort of success so this is like um, an honor a medal of your milestone the key of success right here for you this is going to be mean something different for each of you but one of the blessings gifts coming your way has to do with a key or um, whether in the physical or this is just metaphorical um, for something opening for you all right so that is very positive so let's see which astrological influence you've been working with and uh, what blessing that's bringing in. All right. So um, we actually, I'm sorry, um, this is the, uh, the um, astrological, but this helps me. And that's why I was saying it like that. So you've got Pisces that rolled through. That's 12th house energy. Okay. Um, that is heavy heavy stuff that's the endings the undoings that's um you know illusionment and then the disillusion so you guys have been doing a lot at the soul and that means many intense connections have come through um through relationships family friends romances that have just rattled and shaken you to the core okay some of these uh situations could have seemed one thing for quite some time and then you know the lights came on and it turned out it was something else entirely when you are working with the Piscean energy that 12th house it is intense and it, it's like um, a maze with a lot of dead ends and a lot of tricks and a lot of deception and a lot of betrayal but through that process you learn to really start listening to your intuition that's the only way to navigate that Neptunian Piscean maze of energy that you guys have been dealing with it's learning to tap into that intuition and in that space of learning to hear your inner voice and follow that you become independent you become more self-aware and now with this Pisces rolling through I'm not surprised to see the owl and the tree of life. You have gone through some really intense stuff and the wave water energy, Pisces is water energy and um, it's the 12th house. Aries is the first house. So that's just more symbolism of you completing these major life lessons and being done with them and expanding into beautiful new energy, a new version of yourself, yet maintaining all this wisdom from your travels from where you've been okay so I know it's been a long hard journey for some of you with uh, this Pisces energy coming through okay now let's uh, get your tarot dice and, and see what order they're trying to show Ooh, okay, so we got the star coming through first, and that is, you know, wish fulfillment. That's healing. That's destiny. That's being totally renewed after a very, very long journey. And it's, you've been in the night, and you've been in confusion, and you've been wondering. But remember, you have gotten yourself to where you are. You've completed this lesson. You did that, and that's why you deserve blessings and rewards and so for the star to be the the first uh, tarot to come out talking about the blessings coming to you this is spectacular let's see what else wants to show up 
Oh yeah, now we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, it's time for that wheel to turn. You started out at the top and you've been on this long journey, this soul cycle, and you went down and you were in the darkness, you were on the bottom, and now you are coming back up and it's time for the wheel to turn and you to be sitting on top and get that healing, get that renewed sense of energy, that expansion, and receive the blessings, receive the gifts of the angels of spirit, and relish in the those materializations that are taking place in your life and the expansion that's taking place in your consciousness in your heart in your soul so it is time for the wheel to turn for you so you've got the star and the wheel of fortune that is very positive let's do one more all right look at that it rolled the wheel of fortune again yes you are headed to a very positive time in your journey all right there's a lot of blessings there's a lot that's going to change so we will leave this out here since you got the will of fortune twice let's pull some more cards and see about these blessings and gifts from the angels you you have accomplished and achieved a lot i hope that you know that and you feel that and uh you realize your worth and your value and where, um, you know, on the lower side where you do give too much and how you need to pull your energy back and become aware of when you are getting depleted. And I feel you have completed that, all right? Piscean energy is uh, perfect for that type of journey of just really being a giver, a lover, an open, um, vulnerable vessel and experiencing a lot of people and maybe not in the best of ways because, again, dead, <clears throat> dead end falsity and uh, through each one of those experiences you learn more and more and more to rely on yourself on that inner voice than the physical evidence or what somebody is saying and doing like you're learning you've been learning to really read the energy of others all right let's see what else comes through Sacred reverence, yes, and look at that, there is a key. Do you see that? Something is opening for you. And also, there is a very beautiful heart healing coming into play at this time. Um, well, during the next 30 days as these blessings and gifts unfold for you, but definitely something opening for you or the key in the physical realm being highly significant. That's beautiful. The royal you, yes, see, you have achieved. You have completed those life lessons, and now you are having this major elevation, expansion to who you are, and it's time for you to shine, and this, the royal you, knowing your worth and your value, and refusing to settle for less no matter who it is, okay? Truly knowing self and loving and honoring self as you would everybody else. But it is definitely your time to stand out, step out, be in the spotlight and shine and feel blessed and feel loved. So this is, um, as this energy change changes, it's more than just like one thing that's happening for you. It's a multitude of things that really get you back into a place of happiness and like knowing what life is all about. Body and soul. This is talking about the, you know, expansion to you, how you've completed these lessons. Five is all about um, challenges and change. You're coming out of those challenges and now you're changing into your new form and your experience transforming into wisdom because you've completed these lessons. It's time for you to be very blessed. You see the dragonfly there? And it's time for you to be very, very blessed. The royal you um, receiving the key okay you're receiving a key and look at all those stars on there and remember the star came out first and we have song yes that is the harmony 
within you, okay? And those of you who, um, you know, sing or write music or create music, this could be that you're finally going to get something with that. Like there's something coming in in that area. Those of you who are very creative, okay, because this is under the key, <clears throat> creative, artistic, you've been working towards trying to make something of that. And now that's where this key is coming in into your life, okay? Others of you, because of your journey, this song is where you are finally recognizing the royal you and what you deserve. And this is utter peace and harmony within you because you've got the angel of peace here. Next we have gratitude. This is under the royal you, okay? That is how you're feeling. That is who you are coming into because of the way things are manifesting. And you see all those angel feathers around her. Remember the angel, <clears throat> excuse me, remember the angel cards that all jumped out at the start of the read? Look at that. All those angels are around you. There is so much love being projected to you from the angelic realm. And there's a lot of different little magical, subtle blessings that are going to happen. Do you see all of those feathers represent the different gifts and blessings the angels are sending your way? So remember, as you are feeling elevated and risen up, be sure to express gratitude and love to your angels because you are definitely moving into a a period of blessing um, we got the wheel of fortune times two and lastly oh we have Gaia nice so not only is uh, your angels coming in to bless you this is mother earth Gaia saying I'm blessing you in physical form as well so make sure that you give her gratitude and love and this coming out under body and soul it would do you a lot of good to um, do meditations to connect with her. She wants to give healing to your body, to your soul. And um, through that space, like it really elevates you even further. But also, she's saying, I have gifts to materialize in your life. Oh, this is beautiful. There is so many wonderful things coming in. And um, you've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Star as the three tarot the will of fortune twice and the star so that's very broad and that lets me know that the blessings that come in for each of you is going is going to be different but the key is very very symbolic because that was in your chest and then it came out in the card okay as well as you really gaining your independence and that as uh, you know expressed through the owl the tree of life and the pyrite but also there is material blessing coming to you somehow some way you have that with the pyrite you have that with Gaia as well as the royal you with all these blessings from the angels and again that key some sort of breakthrough for you guys this is a very beautiful reading lots of blessings coming your way a big shift because again working with that Piscean energy is not easy all right let's pull you a special message hang in there things are about to get good all right so those are your messages from that first chest the blessings that are coming to you the gifts that are coming to you it's bigger and more beautiful than you imagine in this moment okay the royal you with the pyrite lots of abundance coming your way and it's been hard because you've been in the struggle you've been working on some heavy life lessons and with the 10 you could have been you know at this for 10 years some of you like five years some of you 10 years these are some deep lessons that you've been working on and now it's time for the reward because you've completed and there's a big shift like life is going to be very different than it is right now the royal you that's how you're feeling blessed um, and loved and abundant okay so those are your messages I'm sending you lots of love and light take care hello so for the second chest we are going to pull an angel card first and see which angel is coming in the strongest to bless you with these gifts and talk to you about what's coming your way over the next 30 days 
So we have the Angel of Freedom. I am always free to choose love, independence, and creativity. So the gifts and blessings coming to you are going to cause a sense of freedom and liberation for you, okay? So that will mean something different for each of you, but you're definitely gonna feel free and no longer bound or restricted in some capacity, so that is nice to see. Let's see what uh, soul lessons, life lessons you've been working on that are allowing these gifts and blessings to now come in. Okay, so the soul teaching is self-worth with the Taurian energy. So you may have been working quite a bit with the Venus energy, but definitely second house, um, you know, possessions, resources, uh, finances, and also, um, you know, Venus does rule the uh, relationship house, the seventh house as well. So this says, and look at money manager, so self-worth and money manager two very strong things solid moral compass positive values healthy self-esteem tenacity and patience build steady foundations create financial security keep a focus for the long haul so you guys have been working with some life lessons and some soul lessons that are really helping you create in the physical in the material world creating a strong solid foundation beneath yourself um, you've been learning a lot about money and finances so some of you could have been having a lot of ups and downs highs and lows job difficulties things like that and you may have found yourself in the same circumstance multiple multiple times it's because you've been working on a lesson in this area not just with money but some of you it's this is more about your self-worth and your self-esteem and the more that you realize your worth your value how precious you truly are the more abundance comes into your life naturally so all the different experiences and things have been put pushing you towards, you know, better awareness of self, truth of self, of divinity, worth and value, as well as helping you create a stronger foundation within the physical material world. So overcoming this, you've completed these lessons here and now it's time for some reward some blessings to come into your life so you see the evidence of your growth and your evolution through this Taurian energy. All right, so let's get into your little tre treasure chest and see what's in here. So we have a tarot dice, a gemstone, and then um, we have the uh, astrology dice here to look at um, which astrological influence you've been working with the most. And then there's some charms in there. Okay, so we will use this tarot dice to um, get your tarot information. We will use this to see which astrological influence you've been working with the strongest. And um, so here, your gemstone is the desert rose. And this is letting you know that you are very strong, okay? You can withstand and weather a lot, and you have. This stone is like, you know, it looks dainty, but it's strong, it's tough. There's a lot of clarity that also comes with this stone, okay? So um, you coming through as this self-worth and becoming very strong, in the physical material world this is a perfect gemstone to depict that all right your travels your journey and I drew all the stuff for the chest before we drew these cards okay so this lets you know that your angels are saying yes it's time for you to feel you know much more secure in the physical world and it's time for you to know your worth and your value and all, everything you've been through has led to that point you are this um, desert road right here you know do a google search and look up deeper meaning of this particular stone and you will know exactly what i am talking about all right so let's get into your charms and then we will get into your dice up there so we have the gemini 
emblem here and this could uh, be very significant of a couple of things you could be a Gemini some of you could have been learning a lot of lessons from a Gemini but for all of you this Gemini energy represents the third house which means you've been learning a lot you've been in a deep cycle of like learning where it's just one thing after another and you may have felt like you can't get a break or you're cursed or why is life so hard why is this happening why is that happening Happening. It's because you are in a deep period of learning through that third house Gemini energy, all right? And you've completed that and the Gemini twins as within, so without. So this is learning about, um, you know, yourself internally as well as lessons externally. And that's also depicted here, self-worth internally, money management externally. All right, so there's that. And... Um, yeah, because look at, here's the teeth, okay? You have been feeling like life has just been eating you up and spitting you out. You're coming out of this energy, okay? You've learned a lot. Next, yes, is the um, star here, all right? It's time for you to relax, to enjoy life, but also to feel like you're shining, to feel like you matter, to feel like you are something special and unique, all right? So you're meant to feel like a star as these blessings unfold for you. And look at this. We've got the snowflake. You are very special. You are unique. There is only one of you. And the more that you recognize that and own that and love yourself for what's beautiful and what you find undesirable, okay? How interesting is this where we're talking about self-worth, that's what you have been working on, and you have the snowflake, rare, one of a kind, unique. That's you, okay that's you and spirit is confirming that and again we drew these cards separately from what was put into this treasure chest so your angels really want you to know your value and your worth and there is only one of you walking around on this planet you are your your own unique vibration of source no other like you no other like you know that own that feel that and the more you realize that the less you will tolerate people treating you badly and less than your value because you'll know your worth spirit is confirming so strong and look at this the rose a rose is still a rose even if by another name right you're about to blossom and instead of feeling chewed up through your blossoming, now your thorns will prick others who try to come against you, try to pluck you, try to disrupt your beautiful blossoming, okay? You are the rose, so beautiful, and a star who is meant to shine. So let's see which astrological influence you've been working with the most. we've got Jupiter okay Jupiter is currently in Capricorn and has been there for a, for a bit and Jupiter is retrograde in Capricorn right now so Capricorn is uh, ruled by Saturn and that is life lessons karma all of that so this is talking about those life lessons that you've been working on very heavy you feeling like you are being chewed up and spit out learning a lot through that third house energy and now Jupiter being retrograde it is time for you to be blessed from past energies and efforts for what you are now evolving into this life lesson, this big soul cycle that you are completing. And Jupiter is like the best planet, maybe otherwise than the sun, to bless you and bring gifts, okay? So it is truly your time to shine through the star, your time to blossom through the rose. The learning is over, being spit up and chewed out over, knowing your true worth and your value, and you are tough as nails. And now it is time to be blessed and rewarded. I love to see this. Let's get into your tarot and see what's coming out there. Okay, 
five of wands there's been a lot of conflict in your external life as well as in your internal life and now that is shifting energies are coming together you're going to start seeing things from a different perspective because your experience is now transforming into wisdom and through that space again you are really knowing your value of self and that changes a lot in your life it changes what you tolerate it changes how people <clears throat> react to you and interact with you okay so the conflict um, the turmoil the chaos the confusion that's coming to an end all right so let's see what's next all right we've got the five of wands twice that is telling me you guys have really been in the struggle for quite a while here and um, really feeling like you've just been getting your butt kicked by life oh you deserve a lot of blessings and rewards all right let's see what else Okay, yes, because now we have these six of wands. So the five of wands turning into the six of wands. Six of wands is recognition, reward, spotlight, um, you know, gifts, receiving what you deserve. So you got two of five of wands, conflict, chaos internal and external like spirit really wants to um, acknowledge that for you because we got that twice that yes internally you've been going through it because you've been learning about self-worth externally you've been going um, through it because you've been learning about manifestation and money and you know different uh, materializations and now you've completed both of those lessons because remember the five of wands rolled twice so beautiful confirmation and now in both of those areas it's time for you to feel rewarded to feel like a star to have your blossoming to be blessed by Jupiter all right so let's pull you some Oracle cards and yes remember the angel of freedom um, somehow some way just feeling really liberated no longer restricted held back held down exposed and revealed yes see look at that you are realizing you're having a beautiful awakening within about your worth and your value and um, there's new truths and revelations that are coming to you through this process um, not just about yourself but others okay and as far as your physical manifestations your resources your money your finances all of that you're also seeing things from a much different Different perspective that's beautiful smoke and mirrors yeah you're coming out of the fog you're seeing the truth you know I feel a lot of your questioning of self and your current financial or material situation has to do with different relationships because Venus rules Taurus which is that energy second house and Venus also rules Libra the seventh house which is about relationships okay because we have exposed and revealed smoke and mirrors and where have you been struggling with your self-worth and value also um, you in the externals with material with finances with job with something along those lines why because there is some um, connection in your life or there maybe there's multiple this could be an ongoing series of things that have really confused you and has you questioning your worth your value what you are capable of what you are able to achieve in this life journey and the reason for these you know struggles and complications and these connections and feeling like you're being spit you know chewed up and spit out it's because you really need needed a hard push to realize that you deserve more than being treated like that, being um, lied to, being gaslighted. Okay, you deserve so much more than that. And it's time for you to see the truth of self and have a rebirth of self where you have boundaries. Okay, and again, when you know your worth, you're not going to tolerate smoke and mirrors. You're going to sense the energy. You might not know what's being um, lied about or where it's off. You're just going to sense that it's off. And you're going to be like, oh, no, we're not going down this road. 
okay we're not going down this road and um, you know if you quiet your mind and allow spirit to bring you the answers you'll always know what you're feeling off why those vibes are off don't allow your mind to wander just ask spirit all right spirit I'm, I'm sensing this energy show me and spirit will and if anybody is dishonoring you disrespecting you they're not worthy of being in your space never feel afraid to lose somebody regardless of who they are if they're continually treating you in terrible ways you deserve more than that and you've been working on that life lesson just because you can handle it and you can tolerate it doesn't mean that you have to okay um, oftentimes people who have suffered you know a lot of uh, mental emotional or physical abuse in their life they have a much larger threshold of toleration for this type of stuff and sometimes you know because things aren't as bad in a particular situation or relationship as it's been in in their past they they don't realize this is still not good for me this is still bad so you guys have really been through it and it's coming into true worth and value and what's acceptable and not acceptable to happen to you in your life and now you've completed that it's time for you to see the truth of others okay always always moving forward you will always see the truth of others because you deserve more than you've been given and now you're realizing that a grand symphony yes look at that that is who you are let nobody tell you different you are not just one instrument in the band you are the whole symphony okay there is an endless array of color within you and you know throughout your life journey people have said things and done different things that have made you really question who you are your worth your value what you are able to achieve in this life and now it's time for you to evolve and expand beyond all of that and hear your inner voice and that spirit saying you are unique there is no other like you you are a symphony on your own tap into your own song and let it play and you will experience magic upon magic but if you are always looking for your value and your worth and what you can and cannot do in others the validation through others you will always feel small and now you've realized that and it's time to hear your own inner song and follow that and you break free it is time for blessings it is time for you to be a star in the sky and shine bright and enjoy your moment all right you deserve beautiful things and um, you know love isn't always easy it has its ups and downs its highs and lows but it should never uh, leave you tattered and torn feeling like you've been chewed up and spit out never okay surrender time to relax that mind and ask spirit to show you what is hidden as long as your emotions are balanced you will find the truth you will rise to the surface you will find the truth but also the imagery of this card this beautiful whale that is you that is your power that is what you are capable of all right you are transforming from this into this and anybody that tells you differently this is how small they are all right spirit wants you to know that and again you know is every time you quiet your mind and your emotions and surrender the situation you will rise to the surface and the truth will always be revealed to you next is labyrinth and that's coming out under smoke and mirrors so this is um, symbolism of the journey that you've been on okay you've been moving through this labyrinth and now you're coming out the other side and this you know we've already talked about the lessons being learned through this labyrinth but now you're coming out the other side and all the deception and trickery that happened within here it doesn't happen as you exit because you evolve and expand beyond it okay and last 
lastly we have challenge Mm, this has been quite the challenge for you, right? As though you're playing a game of chess and you feel like you're losing over and over, but you've been in a deep state of learning. Remember that through the Gemini charm there, you've been in a deep state of learning and now you're realizing you are a grand symphony and nobody can beat you at your own game anymore. You've mastered yourself. Okay, so the gifts and blessings coming for you are many. One, there are some real negative energies that are dissipating from your life. And I feel for a lot of you, it's through relationships. And some of you could be through different situations or circumstances that are currently present in your life. Okay, that is starting to fade away which is going to feel like a huge blessing all on its own because it gives you a sense of freedom and liberation, okay? And also, as events turn, you are now going to feel like you are standing in the spotlight, like you are being rewarded and recognized and that you are shining, okay, through the Six of Wands and you had the Five of Wands twice. So there's been a lot of, um, you know, disbalance or disbalance, imbalance and chaos within as well as imbalance balance and chaos without and now those both of those five of wands in and out are transforming in to the six of wands which is that really nice energy where you feel like you are winning and you are hard as nails you've been through so much and each step of your journey has really shaped you and transformed you and you've been in this labyrinth and I'm telling you as you exit the other side what confused you, what tricked you before is never going to have that power to do it again. You are transforming into a much more expanded version of yourself with the realization of how sacred and unique you are and they can't play these games on you anymore. Okay, you are now the master of the game. You've realized a lot and all of this is going to really transform within you, within your life over the next 30 days, this deep realization. And as you know worth and value, others know your worth and value and treat you as such. So you've been in a long period of learning, growing and expanding. And now it is time for gifts to be bestowed upon you. Um, and many of you, it has a lot to do with um, these external blessings and gifts coming in, has to do with money, career, assets, resources, okay? That second house energy. That's uh, there. So there's definitely some physical materializations for you guys, which is awesome. But also this blessing is within the awakening of true worth and value. That's blessing. And then um, you're, there's some sort of really stuck heavy energy that's being dissipated out of your life through this energy of Jupiter and feels like a huge weight is lifted off of you. But remember, Jupiter blesses you for past energies and efforts so let's pull you one final little message I like your face you are beautiful inside and out know that own that feel that all the way down in your soul your angels are confirming I like your face. You are beautiful. There is nothing you should ever hide about your smile, your eyes, the light that emanates from you when you smile, if only you knew. All right? You are beautiful. So those are your messages. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care. Hi there, so this is the reading for the third chest. And before we get into the chest, let's see which angel is coming in the strongest um, to bestow these beautiful gifts and blessings upon you. 
the angel of faith is coming through and it says I have faith that goodness and joy are mine now and forever so you definitely have been going through some trials and tribulations and I believe it's your faith and your um, connection to the angels uh, you know some of you could be very religious but you've had faith you've been holding on to that so strongly as you weather different storms and now the angel of faith is coming in and saying it's time for goodness in your life it's time for some balance it's time for the storm to settle all right so that is nice we've got the angel of faith so let's see what you have been working on what soul lessons what life lessons that have made you you know have to really hold on to your faith and just believe in the good oh okay so we've got Capricorn energy coming through and uh, this is about responsibility and uh, this says so there's several little bullet points and this is you could be working on one or all of these and it says the value of a good reputation correct public behavior thinking before acting discipline recognizing protocols of success building solid foundations and security commitment to materialize goals respect and regard for achievements so you coming through as responsibility here you have been working on um, really building and establishing yourself either in your career in your life um, some of you because this could about reputation 10th house energy some of you could uh, um, have more of like a social presence you know Facebook Twitter YouTube there's all kinds of uh, different platforms in which people can grow right now um, some of you may have been working very very hard at that okay in some area of your life you've been building a solid foundation and learning about responsibility and you've been that uh, mountain goat going up the side of the mountain climbing the rocks um, in the struggle through the storm Storm, the wind the sleet the snow the rain okay you are a very powerful being you are a very evolved being and for you know the past year five years ten years you've been working on a lesson here to really establish self in the physical realm all right and you are completing this soul teaching of this responsibility and it's time for the reward of that so let's get into your treasure chest and you have a tarot dais and we have a timing dais and then we have a meteorite and some charms all right so um, we will use the tarot dice to see what your tarot messages are we will use this to look at some timing of things and you know with the meteorite coming out um, you know I'm really not surprised that this card came out because this is you know beyond this is you know um, guidance and direction from much much higher realms and that would make sense since you guys have really been working on establishing something here in the physical realm you've been getting a lot of guidance from you know much higher advanced beings and you this also lets you know you should always listen to your intuition because you are naturally connected into the higher realms that's why you do have such ambition or you do have a lot of responsibility okay but you have the meteorite coming through with this message and you are strong and you are able and you are capable and many of you are meant to be in some sort of like leadership role or really stand out so let's look at your charms okay so we have the life ring you have been asking for a lifeline and that would make sense you know the goat climbing the mountain through all the different storms and you having to hold on to your faith so um, this is a very strong message from spirit because you know I did pre-select everything that went into this chest but we pulled these cards first to set up the reading okay and now everything that's already in there is just confirming um, you know each other really that's beautiful you have been asking for a lifeline but the thing is 
you are the lifeline you are strong you're very strong for others as well and oftentimes you might wonder who's there for me the angels the higher advanced beings are there for you through this meteorite okay so you are the lifeline even though you've been asking for one and look at this you've got an angel coming through oh yes that goes right along with the meteorite that you are connected to the higher realms never forget that it's like you know it's not to say that you never experience hardship but it's like you will always get what you need in the the moment that you truly truly need it and it's because of your spiritual evolution and past lives okay you are the elephant you are wise you are strong you can go um for long stretches with minimal minimal resources okay and this also goes back to how you are there for others in different ways very strong being you are and who's there for you is the angels and the higher realms okay so um some of you the elephant could be very significant could be your spirit animal okay but this is a depiction of you and your energy within and how strong and evolved and wise you truly are and that's why you you are able to hold your faith and hear the seahorse you are also very gentle and empathetic okay you are strong in the physical and you put on a very strong front okay um, it doesn't mean you don't cry that people don't see you cry but you are a very strong being for others but within and that's depicted through the elephant but within you are this seahorse gentle tender empathic compassionate caring and healing you are a very complex being okay and it's because you are so wise and grown the angels are with you always always as well as these um you know higher level beings so let's um pull a sacred number here and this is also going to be about timing all right so what do we have we have nine coming through okay beautiful a nine means you are definitely um, on the verge of completion that's what nine is about like you've been on a journey you've been learning life lessons life um, cycles soul lessons and now you are coming to the end of that journey and um, beautiful confirmation because you are about to be blessed all right but also this nine is a separate answer for some of you where you've been asking and so this is nine days um, nine weeks I feel like nine months is is too far out unless you're already in that journey okay where it's been like a nine month journey um, otherwise timing is like nine days nine weeks um, and also the ninth month September it's August right now we're about to move into September um, as I record this so nine is very synchronistic and it's symbolism for you so if you're seeing repeating nines that's your angels saying you are almost to the end you're coming to a completion keep your faith all right nines are very very special for you guys so whenever you're seeing those repeating nines know that is message from the higher realms and from the angels for you okay so let's pull your tarot dice and uh, see what tarot messages are coming through. Nice. Here we have this um, Queen of Cups energy that goes back to the seahorse. Okay. That beautiful, wise sage you are within emotionally. You are empathic. You are compassionate. You are sensitive. You are emotionally mature. You are very soothing and healing and wise to other people. Okay, so you have this Queen of Cups energy coming through, and you have the Four of Swords. Again, you are a very healing person, but the way that your blessings are about to uh, manifest and unfold for you are going to allow a period of peace within your life, a period of rest, especially in the emotional body, okay? And lastly, we have the Hermit. 
Um, the Hermit is represented uh, by Virgo in the tarot. Virgo, um, you know, is uh, it starts, um, I think, somewhere like maybe the 22nd or so of or 23rd of um, September okay so September is really being acknowledged in this reading for blessings because this is the hermit and the hermit represents Virgo in the tarot so September very significant of Virgo if you're a Virgo or somebody else involved but also with this hermit um, you have been on a very long journey you've been growing emotionally as well as creating some sort of foundation in the physical world okay and now it's time for you to come into a period of rest of recovery and reap the rewards of your efforts all right so we will end on the hermit because this is also letting you know how wise and evolved you truly are and you often do feel alone in this journey even if there are people around you because it's always like you are the solution you are the answer you are the fix it you are everything to everyone and you're like who is there for me the angels and the higher realms are there for you because you are a very advanced being you have a higher calling this life journey and i'm sure you feel that and again um you will always get what you need when you need it you um have this evolution from past life journey and so you will get what you need when you need it and oftentimes you will feel that your life is harder or you have more responsibility but it's because you can handle that and you are here to inspire others to help them grow to help them evolve and you will always be rewarded somehow some way from the higher realms and they want you to know that all right so let's pull you some oracle earth magic yes you are blessed you are a magical manifester and you are about to have like this increase into your powers your ability and it feels that way it feels magical but it's because you've had such growth mentally emotionally and spiritually along this journey this is card number one so um, your manifestational abilities are definitely going to be enhanced and you are moving into a very magical period in your journey Next we have endless possibilities, yes. Look at that, uh, 38, 8, 9, 10, 11, 38 goes down to an 11, so one and 11, endless possibilities. You are definitely going to have a lot of blessings come through and great and full. That would be the ace of cups pretty much okay this is what your life is turning into and that is why you are feeling rest in the emotional body okay um, that is why you feel that you are in a period of recovery because magic is happening and, and you're back in your vibes you're back in that space that there is nothing I can't achieve there's nothing I cannot do and your cup overfloweth for you okay you are feeling so blessed and I feel September September through November is when all of this is super unfolding for you all right so I need to change my battery for my camera one second okay yes and you see all these stars down here and then look at there is just stars all over the place in these cards you know here's the stars beneath the feet there there's the stars coming in through the crown so through the root chakra the magic through the crown the magic and then this being the heart chakra the stars the magic there okay so crown chakra root chakra and heart chakra definitely receiving an activation and expansion so root chakra would be your physical reality blessings and magic all right um crown chakra and expansion 
to your uh, intuition, your sensitivity, your psychic ability, okay, um, your connection to the angels in the higher realms, activation in the heart space, um, new connection coming into your life, or just the way everything is unfolding through these blessings makes your heart overflow with happiness and joy, okay, September through November I seem very, very positive and um, full of blessings and happiness for you. You're receiving all these rewards from this very long journey you've been through in that hermit energy. Okay, so let's pull you some more cards. Devotion. Yes, you are going to feel as though you are dancing through life and also your devotion to yourself, to your path, to your goals, to your dreams, as well as to others is what's helping bring forth this magic back to you. Okay, so all that you give to others, it's now time for a beautiful surge of magic to come back to you and look at that wisdom with those owls you are so wise and ever wiser you are about to become i am not surprised with that hermit coming out every step on your journey is sacred and holds purpose for you and your soul advancement your the consciousness evolution of you of your spirit okay every single step has meaning and there is a higher calling on your life you are very intuitive empathic um, and some of you quite psychic okay there's a higher calling on you and some of you are meant to really stand out and be known by many for your ab abilities and talents and this doesn't just have to be spiritual abilities and talents okay you could be amazing at any number of things and skills you're meant to stand out you're meant to be in a leadership role in whatever area of your life you are excelling in that's the calling on your life on your journey and through that path you will touch and help and grow activate and expand many people there are endless possibilities within you and you and inspire that in others and uh, look at this we have perspective under great and full so look at she is a creator right she is creating um, a canvas and this is you you are a magic manifester and you truly understand the way that you create your life through your thoughts through your emotion through your action your deed and your expression and now everything that you have been working so hard to create for yourself it's time for the manifestation in the physical oh my goodness the third chest I do feel for you guys um, is like the most exciting one out of the three um, it, it's a definitely a, a much different vibe you guys uh, are feel like um, more expanded like you may identify as a light worker a star seed you are empathic um, telepathic psychic you know a very intuitive very sensitive to vibes like you recognize that about yourself okay and many of you are also very talented in some other way and you are meant to be a leader and, and stand out and be in the spotlight and share your wisdom and share your knowledge you are and there is just endless magic within you oh my gosh in September through November very very positive time for you when all of these lovely blessings will be unfolding so let's pull you and you finally feeling like you you're getting your lifeline because you truly are a lifeline for others you can and you will yes you can and you will always 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 you are somebody who might fall down but you're gonna get back up and you're gonna push forward and you're gonna keep trying try 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 again you will never give up that is one of your greatest strengths and that is another thing that will really inspire others okay so know your worth know your value know you have a higher calling and you are moving into a very very blessed period of time all right so those are your messages i am sending you lots of love and light take care